Stefan Artmanov. He's an advisor to Ukraine's Zelensky administration, a former Ukrainian Minister of Economic Development. In 2014 and 15, he was actually ranked by Forbes Ukraine as one of the country's top economists and served as the deputy chairman of the Council of the National Bank of Ukraine. Joining us now from Kiev, Timothy, thank you. You're just the man to speak to on a day like this. Why is today's summit between EU officials, Ukrainian officials, so important? It is important because it demonstrates uh, the symbol of what Ukrainian people are trying to achieve. Since 2014, we are moving away from Russia because we don't like, we don't accept their way of life, their dictatorship policies, uh, lack of freedom, and we move towards the EU. Um, the Revolution of Dignity in 2014 started because uh, um, the people of Ukraine were disagreeing with the decision of then uh, president to cut ties with Europe and move to Russia. Um, and today, the EU um, summit, EU-Ukraine summit in Kyiv, is just a natural continuation of this process. After the war started, uh, Ukraine got a candidacy to the EU, and now we want to take the next step and start negotiations about the uh, joining the EU. Yeah, that process could still take a lot of time. It's not going to be fast-tracked, is what we're hearing. So is there understanding in Ukraine amongst politicians, but amongst the public as well, that it is going to take some time and some changes are going to be needed? Of course it will take some time and uh, changes will be needed. And these are the changes that we need uh, ourselves, first of all. And we have been doing those changes since 2014. Uh, but, uh, you know, no one was saying that it's possible to get the EU candidacy during the war time, and it was in three months. So um, Ukraine can surprise positively, and the world can su surprise everyone positively. So I'm an optimist on this. But of course, I understand how much work we have to do. Now, uh, with, with regards to the sanctions package, the 10th we're expecting to hear against Russia in the coming weeks or so. Uh, that's set to weaken Russian's economy. That's the intention of it, but also it has an impact on the West. But as we're hearing from our correspondent in Russia there, Dasha Chernyshova, she was talking about the fact that the Kremlin says that Ukraine is getting into vast amounts of debt. Now, that's obviously the Kremlin line. Talk to us about what's in it for Ukraine's economy to join the EU. Well, of course, Ukraine is getting a lot of debt because Ukraine needs to maintain its economy, which has been destroyed by uh, the Russian war. This Russia, which has imposed over $140 billion de direct damage on the Ukrainian economy. I mean, so, you know, it's a little bit uh, dishonest of them to, to be talking about us taking debt, uh, not explaining the reasons for that debt. But also we get a lot of grants and support. But fundamentally, I think the key for the future sustainability and growth of the Ukrainian economy is uh, accession or joining the EU markets. Um, since 2014, uh, the largest trading partner uh, has changed from Russia to the EU. And uh, this uh, pattern will just continue. And joining the EU and also um, before that signing and achieving visa-free uh, industrial visa free regime uh, will allow our businesses to benefit from the market, from the access to the consumers and to the investors in the EU. Timothy Milofinov, thank you very much in Kiev.